All right, I'm going to be redoing the click track I did, uh, the click track tutorial for LE4 that I did a year ago. Um, it was my first time using Screenium back then, and um, they've come out with an update, and uh, it seems to work a lot better for audio, so no more of that scratchy vinyl crap going on anymore. Um, this tutorial is to basically get rid of this sound, which sounds pretty terrible <coughs> you know it's kind of obnoxious um, there are you know there are ways you know a lot of people don't like to track to that um, so what I did is I downloaded um, from Sonoma Wireworks drum core 3 free it's a free VST plugin um, you can find that at that location um, the uh, plugin will uh, show up under your instruments so um, the reason why you have to do this this way in LE4 is because there's no VST instruments option on your devices um, apparently they've done away with that since version 1 so what you have to do is you have to add an instrument track and I have drum core 3 already installed so I'm going to select it and hit OK um, and drum core 3 has two drum sets they and uh, you know it's free software it's legit um, don't advocate stealing don't do it you know be my little spiel there find something free or if you were lucky and got Hanley and one to work uh, go ahead and use that because it's the same premise and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to draw in a one bar line and how we do that is we select our pencil tool turn on snapping and make sure this is set to bar so when we click that in, we'll have exactly one bar. Flip over to our pointer. And we're going to go down over here and select the general MIDI map. And um, drum core will automatically default to the acoustic drums. But if you want to select the electric drums or the hip hop kit, you hit this little button here and that brings up the GUI. And here's where you have your two options. We're going to go ahead and stick with the acoustic drums. And what we're going to do is we're going to double click on this area right here. And we're going to have these two um, buttons highlighted. This is snap and quantize. And we don't want to quantize the 16th notes. We want to quantize the quarter notes. And it should show up as quarter notes once you select that. So then we're just going to go, I like the side stick, the side stick sample, um, so we're just going to draw in four quarter notes like that. Um, now if you don't have, if your screen looks like this, um, what you do to get velocity is you click on this and hit velocity only, which is what you want because you want to put emphasis on the downbeat so you want this first one to hit harder and if we loop that by dragging out these selectors and then hit play we still don't have enough emphasis so we decrease them more and that's basically what we want it's, it's much better sounding than that awful beep uh, so then it's a matter of zooming out which, by the way, you can either do it by grabbing this handle or going up to here and click, hold down, and then drag down or drag up to zoom. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click on this, and um, we're going to go to Edit, and we're going to go to Duplicate, or you can hit Control-D, or Apple-D, or Command-D. I'm not, not sure what it is on the PC. Actually, a better way to do it would hit be hit repeat and um, I don't know 50 times it's probably not enough for your song but whatever your song needs uh, and then what you can do is you can select all of these events hit your glue tool and then glue it all together and then if you need more it's just a matter of clicking this and hit Apple D once you're done with this uh, the nice thing is your uh, tempo, which I'm going to click it over to fixed for now. I'm going to show you what fixed 
and tempo track means. Um, but the nice thing is, is um, you know, if you type in a new value, the click track follows it. You know, I, I find that easier to to track to than than this guy. You know, to each his own. If you like that click, great. I mean, it's it's definitely easier. Um, you know, than doing all this. Uh, now I've had some people ask uh, how to do like tempo drops, tempo ramps, and uh, how you do that is you hit Apple T or Windows T or or whatever it is on Windows. I'm a Mac guy, so I'm not 100% sure. Um, and that will bring up your tempo track window. And uh, the other way you can get there um, is. I don't know. There's probably a menu for it. <laughs> there it is. Under project, hit tempo track. And um, say you want to, uh, I don't know, say on, on measure four, you want to ramp up to 180. I mean, you want to jump up to 180. So what you do is on this and then type in your tempo 180 it adjusts to there the other thing that is good to do is to actually turn on snap and have it snap to the actual measure um, the other way you can do tempo changes is called a ramp and a ramp uh, does exactly what it does or says it ramps the tempo up and down so what you get is a very gradual decrease in tempo and hear how this all sounds because <coughs> our our click track will follow all this so you ramp slowly down and uh, you can you can have as many of those as you want um, and, you know and that's how you do tempo changes in cubase uh, so hopefully uh, my tutorial was a little bit better than last time. Uh, feel free to comment. Um, oh, and uh, you know, it should be pretty straightforward for everyone. And uh, thanks for watching.